It's Makeup Tip Tuesday. You know what that means. It's time for another tip of the week. This week, we're actually gonna do a whole new color combo that I have never done before. We're gonna use our Rubble Lipstick as the base of our eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna go in with Gold Dust and Romance 2.0 on the outside to create some depth. So I've already prepped my skin and I've applied my Deep Puff and Prime Gel. So I'm gonna go right in. When you do this and you want your lipstick on first, you wanna make sure that it's uh, completely dry and you don't want it tacky like when we go in with a shadow. So you're gonna take an all over shadow brush. We're gonna go right into our Rebel lipstick. Okay, we're going to apply this starting at the base of our lid. Remember, starting right in the center little pushes out little pushes in we're going to completely cover the base of our lid first working from the lash line up so now that we have our lid completely opaque i'm going to apply a little bit more product to my brush hugging it vertically behind my eyeball i'm going to blend this back and forth and on the very edge, I'm just gonna lightly feather it up. So I wanna make sure that that edge is just completely seamless and blends off into my natural skin. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other eye. So we wanna make sure that you're going back and forth and making sure that the shape is relevantly the same on both sides. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do a security coat right into my crease before I add my shadow. We're gonna go in with gold dust now. I'm gonna use that exact same brush. We're gonna pick up and I'm really gonna melt this and really marinate these two together. I'm gonna to avoid the outside area because that's where our romance is gonna go and I'm just gonna really push this in. The more you push it in, the more it's gonna blend those two, those creams together. So this is really giving me a rose gold sort of feel. We're gonna do the same to the other side. So really starting more on the inner portion of our iris, blending down and then slowly taking this over to the other side of our iris. I kind of went a little bit too far on this side, but you'll see how that stops because I want that to be tacky for our romance going in to create that depth. And I find the more you wiggle this back and forth and really don't be afraid of your pressure because that's what's gonna set that cream and it's gonna mix the cream and the shadow together to create that rose gold effect. So notice that we're always starting from the lid at the lash line, working up. I'm gonna put a security coat, remember? Security coat right into that crease. Like so, and then I'm just gonna lightly feather this just up over that pink, but I still want that depth above in my crease. We're gonna take Romance now, 2.0, and that same brush, just the tip. We're gonna pat this right where we left, that little gap of the cream from our iris to our last lash, and we're just gonna pat this. So notice I'm not going back and forth. I'm literally just patting, letting that brush work for me, taking it up behind my eyeball, but always pressing and starting right at that lash line, making sure I'm not going past my last lash. So we're just gonna kind of pat up. So when we look straight, we wanna think that we see that blend up and above the crease and we want that edge going away from us to add a few layers because we really want to make sure that that cream is set so always starting at the base of the lash pat 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 and this is where you can really create that depth if I moved that gold dust all the way over it would not give us the ability to have that depth of that romance because that cream is still tacky so you'll notice we still have an edge here this is where our small crease brush clean is going to come into play I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth onto that edge. And I'm really gonna kind of push it inwards. If you go this way, we're gonna move that pigment up over that iris. 
and we don't want that. We want to keep it nice, like locked in just on that outside. Let's do the same to the other eye. So remember, all over shadow brush, you're using that exact same one for all three steps. Pat, pat, pat. Okay, and you'll see my angle. My angle is going up and away. Patting. We're gonna apply the same amount of layers so it's nice and balanced, and then we'll go in and we'll blend our edge. So remember light dustings, going inward, not over the lid space, and up and out. And it's almost just like I'm lightly pushing it. It's just little flicks, buffing out those edges. For the bottom, so now our top is done, we're gonna take the exact same brush, after we're not picking anything up, we're using whatever is left over. We're gonna start from the outside edge. We're gonna do press pull down, connecting this all the way over. So I'm not adding more product. I'm not removing product from the brush. I'm using whatever's left over to connect the bottom. So starting from the outside, press and pull down, connecting that edge together. So just nice and soft. Remember, always starting from the outside, press pull down, connecting it all the way in. If we have a little bit of that gold dust there, we're just gonna kind of push that back and forth so it's not a harsh edge between the two. So we're gonna go now into our Amped Up Mascara. We're gonna take our liner brush and I'm gonna apply my gel liner. Using the very side. Building it up. So now my, this mascara is a little bit, it's on its last legs. And it really does work best when your mascara is new for your gel liner. So you just have to be a little bit patient when you are applying your liner when it's at the edge of the life of your mascara. So we're just gonna lightly tight that down. And we're gonna keep building it up. So when we get to the outside now, I'm gonna go the opposite, but I'm gonna start from the top of my liner brush, or sorry, top of my line, pushing it in to build up that wing. Now connecting down from my last lash, flicking up. And I like quite a dramatic liner. So I'm gonna kind of press it up over my hood with a little fleck. Don't be afraid to use your fingers because you can easily blend it. Well, obviously we'll do the same to the other eye. All right, then we're gonna add our Amped Up Mascara to the top. So trick with mascara, never pump, always wiggle, sorry, stir. Wiggle on your lashes. So when you wiggle from the base up, it's gonna separate them, it's gonna coat them nicely. If that happens, take your finger before it dries and wipe it away. This is exactly why we do our eyes first. Happens to the best of us. So now I'm gonna finish my skin, do my under eye brightener, and then we'll come back and we're gonna do some cheeks and some lips. All right, my skin is on. We're gonna go into contour with shade and our contour brush. We're gonna pick up, we're gonna dust off. We're gonna hug right underneath our cheekbone starting on our tragus and we're gonna brush forward. And tip to temple, into the back, whatever is left over under the jaw. For our cheeks, I'm gonna take the Rebel and our soft blending brush. I'm gonna lightly dust our soft blending brush over Rebel, just sparingly. Okay, I'm gonna smile. and we're gonna blend back into that hairline. So now because it's just a wash of pigment on the brush, it's gonna seamlessly glide over our blur powder. Not traditional when you use a cream over, like a cream blush that's really thick, because rule of thumb is usually, anytime you use a cream, you need to use a powder to set it, and it's usually cream on cream, powder on powder. But because our pigment is so, so intense, you need very little and it seamlessly glides over that blur. But we're not done. We're gonna now dip into gold dust 
to kind of mimic that same look that we have on our eyes to our cheeks. Last, we're gonna apply Rebel to our lips. So I'm gonna go in on the top. And that's this week's Makeup Tip Tuesday using our Rebel Gift with Purchase. So if you spend $75 or more in store or online, you will get a free Rebel in honor of International Women's Day. So it, of course, it is while supplies last and these seem to be flying out the door. So don't hesitate to get on this deal. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and use a brighter color. So don't forget, this was on my eyes, my cheeks, and my lips. First, you can use TikTok 10 to save 10%.